The Archdiocese of Washington, D.C. says it's reviewing yesterday's court ruling upholding a transit agency ban on issue-oriented advertising. It is considering its next steps. The Archdiocese of Washington sued WMATA, the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority, last year after it rejected a bus ad that had this on it, find the perfect gift, and it directed people to a website. The Archdiocese argued Metro's decision violated the First Amendment. Joining me now via Skype from the Heritage Foundation is senior legal fellow Hans von Spakovsky. Hans, welcome back to the program. Thanks for having me back. Metro said it had a blanket policy since 2015, no political, religious, or advocacy ads. Is this discrimination? Oh, I certainly think it is when it applies to the uh, Archdiocese. I mean, look, uh, uh, Metro doesn't uh, ban commercial advertisements for Christmas. You know, if you, if you want to put up an ad that says, uh, go to this website, you'll find good gifts for Christmas, which, as you know, is a religious holiday, uh, they're going to accept that. But here, a very simple ad um, uh, giving a message to think about perhaps some other gifts at Christmas by the Archdiocese, suddenly that's banned. I, I think that was an arbitrary and capricious decision by the Metro Board, and that in itself shows the problem with this rule. In this big 40-some page document here, Judge Judith Rogers wrote, were the Archdiocese to prevail, WMATA would have to accept all types of advertisements to maintain viewpoint neutrality including ads criticizing and disparaging religion and religious tenets or practices. Did the court go so far, too far, in protecting a hypothetical situation? Yeah, I think they did. Um, I, I don't think it makes sense, both under the First Amendment, to have a ban like this in place. I certainly also don't think it makes a, a, a commercial sense because, you know, the Metro is always losing money. Why, why would they want to turn down all kinds of different kinds of advertising. And look, even the ACLU, which uh, is not exactly a conservative organization, they also agree that this ban that, that Metro has put in violates the First Amendment. An interesting point, just an interesting aside here, Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh recused himself from yesterday's decision. Right. He was part of the original three-judge panel hearing the case, and during those oral arguments in March, he did appear to side with the church. One of the arguments the Archdiocese made was that a yoga ad with the slogan muscle plus mantra was allowed, even though yoga has links to Buddhism and Hinduism. The court right. found the ad was not recognizably religious. So is it a double standard? Yeah, no, I think it is. And again, that shows, I think, the arbitrary nature of the decisions being made by, by Metro, and that gives too much uh, uh, power into the hands of the officials there. That's when you get these kind of bizarre determinations that treat uh, different organizations and different people differently. And that uh, in itself, I think, is a violation. That, that, that really is viewpoint discrimination, which supposedly the Metro Board saying they were trying to avoid, but I think that's exactly what they were doing. Well, as we said at the top, the administration, the Archdiocese of the Archdiocese, is going to look into next steps. Hans von Spakovsky, Senior Legal Fellow at the Heritage Foundation, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.